I got the SG. Welcome back, Troglodytes, to your daily dose of guitar information, the Trogly's Guitar Show. That's right, I was able to get one of these. But more on that here in a second. <laughs> it's the School of Rock SG. I thought it was cool because we have the little lightning bolt inlay on it. And hey, it's their 25th anniversary. Now, if you think I'm talking about the movie with Jack Black, that came out in 2003. If you do the math, that was only 21 years ago, so I think we're talking about something that predates it. It's a music school franchise. It's all over the country. I wish I had one closer to me, because I think it'd be perfect for my kids. I first learned about them back in 2021, when they did a limited edition release of a gorgeous Black Les Paul special. They actually sponsored that episode. Today, as I bought on my own free will, and ever since I did the first video, I got a couple of messages from people who actually are in the program, and they love it. So, you know, music for the kids, that's great. And if they can see their new guitar, you know, documented on my show, and that gives them some inspiration, that's cool. So they were offering a maximum of 300 of these SG guitars and 100 basses offered at 1899 bundled with a practice amp and a 3-inch Levy's leather strap only to students, parents, and staff of the School of Rock community. But now that we understand the backstory, let's go ahead and check out the guitar. So they actually spec these a little bit differently. So first thing I notice, it seems to be a slightly brighter cherry red color. Now that might not be true on all of them. It really depends on the color of the mahogany underneath it. But this definitely looks a little bit more cherry in my opinion. But when we flip over to the headstock, you can see it still has the full-on Gibson Mother of Pearl with crown logo. You've got the School of Rock bat wing. But you'll notice a bound rosewood fretboard with dot inlays except for the 12th lightning bolt. Now when I first saw these, this is what made me order it. Now apparently this is part of like their logos that they use. However, the Ace Fraley Les Pauls use that inlay as well as the Angus Young SG standards. Now these were first teased late in 2023. They were shipped in late February of 2024, right before I reviewed the Thunderstruck SG. That appears to be a pearloid material. I like this one because it's got a lot of darkness in it. You won't find that on every example. The next thing is they actually swapped up the pickups. So this is based on a regular SG standard. So the whole bundle kit is $18.99 versus just buying a stock one from Gibson is $17.99. But you're actually getting the 60s burst bucker pickups in here. That replaces the 490 series pickups. And they did everything in nickel hardware. So you're not really going to see much of a difference now. But as the guitar ages, nickel does look a little bit different as opposed to chrome. But I was kind of curious if they were going to change the neck profile for a skinnier one, because the SG standards usually have the slightly more rounded 50s neck. This feels just like a regular neck from an SG standard, so keep that in mind if you're trying to buy one of these for your son or daughter, if they have the tiny hands. But heading back up to the headstock for a second, if you compare it to the SG standard, those have Grover tuners, whereas this has that kind of late 60s SG standard look to it with the Clusens, which I'm always a fan of. But let's see if we have any special case candy. Woohoo! Bonus jackpot! I mistakenly got two of the Gibson straps. Here's our warranty card, Gibson app information, a blank truss rod cover, and an extra poker chip. I'm sure these are just stock kits they throw in with every guitar. Not all of them need it. But no multi-tool, just your regular truss rod adjustment and our Allen wrench. Then an owner's manual and polishing cloth. But our case candy continues in a separate box over here with a more premium leather strap that we were talking about. So this is three inches wide. It doesn't matter what guitar you use this with, it's gonna feel nice and light. This is a Levy's brand one. I'm always a fan of those, but this is definitely that real leather. It's got the School of Rock emblem at the top right there. So that makes this one technically a limited edition, but I'm sure you could buy similar. And then one of these little guys. It's a limited edition School of Rock branded Spark Mini from Positive Grid. Now we had reviewed the Spark on the channel a long time ago. That one was a sponsored review, but these things are nice, you know, for a couple hundred bucks. Now this is a battery powered amp, but it's not like put a couple of nine volts in it and go. It's a rechargeable battery. So it still plugs into the wall, but if it's charged up and you want to go play outside or somewhere where you don't have enough plugins, yeah, I guess that is kind of cool. And you can plug your headphones into it. And then the bass has got a hard case, but the guitar Guitars, just like the SG standard model comes in this nice little gig bag. You can essentially just call this a soft case. They're actually pretty nice for taking it gig to gig. It's not a flimsy bag by any means. I mean, it's got good padding to it. So I think it will do its job nicely. So it basically boils down to different pickups, different inlays. It might look like an SG special, but it is still based on a standard. But to learn more about this one and what you can expect quality wise, if you were to buy one of these for your son or daughter, or even yourself, let's go ahead and throw that onto the workbench to take an individual look at its parts and specs to verify everything.
inside the school of rock sg so our routes typical two humbuckers hiding underneath your pick guard got your long neck construction ve stands for vintage cherry then sg standard school of rock 2024 edition and as far as the quality of the routes it's about average to below average as far as the fine details of cleaning it up you've got some splintering along the edges but that doesn't really matter to you as a player but we are indeed able to confirm the pickup swap in here it's the lead and rhythm 61 burst bucker set so those are worth a little bit more but here's something else to keep in mind. These are a quick connect set. So if you prefer the 490s or some other combination of Gibson pickup, parents, it's really easy to swap it out. We'll see that on the backside here in a minute. Although if you're just learning guitars, I, I'm, I'm sure you're not like, oh, this pickup's not right. We need to change it to something else that suits my style. That's something you'll figure out later on what you like or don't like. And here are those pickup readings. We've got the Batwing style pit guard. That's very similar to what Jack Black used in the movie, if you happen to like that film. But I was really shocked to learn that the School of Rock as the institution actually predated that. I thought they named their company after that movie, thinking, haha, funny, funny, tongue in cheek stuff. It utilizes a regular Nashville style bridge, Advanced Plating Incorporated branded, and it is a lightweight aluminum nickel plated tailpiece. Same company. As far as our controls, two volumes, two tones. That's one for each set of pickups. So this is your bridge controls, and this is the bridge pickup. This is the neck controls, neck pickup, and you select which one you want to use with this thing. The up position, neck, down, bridge, and then the middle. Then here is our output jack. Moving on from our mahogany body, we've got a mahogany neck with a rosewood fretboard. That's standard specs on an SG. And as far as the quality, like tooling marks on the fretboard, it's about average for a Gibson. It's not perfect. Some areas are a little bit rough along the edge up here. But that's just to be expected out of most production level Gibson USA guitars. I would say it's a little bit unusually roughed up in this area, but a little bit of fine sandpaper can fix that if it bothers you. You can see where the fret nib didn't exactly get formed properly right here. Just small nitpicky details. Ultimately, why I think these didn't sell out as quickly as the last run is the inlay situation. It makes it look like a lower end SG special. However, it's also a way cheaper way to get a Thunderstruck SG in the proper format because you could probably pay a luthier to route out the rest of your fretboard and inlay Thunderbolt inlays without it looking suspicious. Because usually it's the 12th fret that makes that hard because the dots aren't perfectly centered. So if you've ever been after a Thunderstruck SG but you couldn't afford the custom shop one and you didn't want to pay the usa prices and have the wrong pick guard style that's where these things kind of get interesting but this is a perloid material and mine just happened to get some darkness within it another option that could have been cool for them to do is upgrade it to block inlays or just the trapezoids and have them inlay it with a different color perloid material so you still have the cool thunderbolt but it's within an inlay but our nut measure is about 1.7 inches increasing to 2.07 by the 12th First fret neck depth 0.83 and 0.95 by the 12th. Here's a look at that neck profile. First fret, 12th fret, nice rounded C shape. Moving on to the face of the headstock, everything's standard up here. Real Mother of Pearl Gibson logo with crown inlay. It's just that tuner change once again. And our truss rod looks like this. And here's an up close look at their bat wing guitar logo. You see the body of the bat, the two wings, and then the guitar. Moving on to the backside, now we can continue on what I was saying, PCB. Traditionally, pots are just installed on the guitar, they do all the soldering work. But for the modern collection guitars, Gibson utilizes a PCB system because it's a little bit easier for them, installation-wise. So instead of having to solder your pickups in, they just have these white connectors. Now be careful on the used market because there is an older black style out there that will not fit. They just plug in on the board right here. What's nice about that is if your output jack goes bad, it's really easy to replace. You don't have to pay somebody to solder and do all that stuff. But this is just your standard guts. And we've got some more splintering, but nothing too out of the ordinary. We do get a special backplate that I didn't tell you about. It says School of Rock 25th Anniversary Limited Edition, only 300 produced. Now I'm not sure if this was intentional. I know it looks like I just didn't clean it off, but there appears to be like some light sparkles in it as well. But it doesn't appear that they numbered these in any particular way. Large strap button on the back and by the heel. And we can move up our vintage cherry neck and get to our Gibson Cluson Deluxe tuners. Made in USA, the way you read these serial numbers is 2, 
Then you skip three to that for 2023. And then this is the day that neck was stamped. So the 342nd day of 2023, this is a batch number. So zero is the initial batch. If you had a one, that means it was the second batch of the day. Then this is a production number for this particular day of every guitar that was stamped in Gibson. This is not your limited edition number of 300. This is production number 81, which is the 82nd guitar stamp that particular day because there is a zero, zero, zero digit. All said and done, this one's pretty light, six pounds, 7.2 ounces. Let's go ahead, plug it in, and hear how the School of Rock SG sounds. We'll play through this amp for a minute just to test out what you can expect. <laughs> That's the rhythm preset. And that's as loud as it goes, by the way. So you don't have to worry about the kid filling out your house. <laughs> now this is the lead segment. They ramp it up with solo. And this one's called custom. your stock presets but I mean you can download their app and you can do a lot of things with the spark amps. Now here we are running through a Marshall Blues Breaker properly mic'd up. <laughs> is is it's not neck heavy but i can't guarantee that for every single one i really like the bridge pickup especially with some dirt <laughs> The neck pickup, 
not as big of a fan of. <laughs> more muddy distorted but if you pick lighter it cleans up nicely there we go the school of rock sg bundle what are my final thoughts here i think this was a lot cooler before the gibson custom color series came out because if i remember correctly these were announced slightly before that and back then all you could get is a cherry or a black sg standard so to get one with custom pickups in a slightly cooler inlay at the 12th fret, whereas the other ones are downgraded. I think it made sense because if you add up the value of everything, you're technically saving like 200 bucks. But I think they should have just offered these at a discount rather than including the amp and the higher end levy strap because not everybody likes leather straps. And for 220 bucks, I think I would personally choose a different practice amp. Not saying that this thing is bad, but I would personally rather have the full version. I think it sounded better. It's just ultimately, I feel that we, we got let down by the dot inlays everywhere else. But I hope this doesn't stop the School of Rock from doing more signature guitars because I think it's just fun to document them, but maybe this one could have been specked out just a little bit better. But hey, if you're a student and you got gifted one of these, it's a fantastic guitar. Don't get caught up in what I'm saying here. It's just, it's my job to compare it to everything else that you could potentially buy on the market. But ultimately, at least we have the special 12th fret, so it could appeal to somebody who, once again, wants the Thunderstruck SG. So if you're interested in being the next owner of this one, you can find it for sale on my website trogglesguitarshow.com. All right, Troglodytes, I hope you enjoy your newfound guitar knowledge. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care. If you enjoyed tonight's episode, consider subscribing. I post videos like this every day. And you might even enjoy this next one.